Hey, what's up guys, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another video. This time we're gonna be taking a look at my top five favorite fresh aquatic fragrances that I'm going to be wearing this summer. So as you know, not too long ago, I did a video on my top five blind buy worthy fresh fragrances. You guys seem to like that video. So this time I figured I'd follow up with my personal favorite fresh fragrances. These are specifically going to be focused on aquatic fragrances because as you know, in that last video, I didn't include many aquatics because those can kind of have Kind of a hit and miss on certain people whether or not it works good with your skin and whether or not it's a safe blind buy so this time i'm going to be going over my favorite aquatic fragrances before we jump into this list guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up that way i know you guys are enjoying the content also don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when i post and also a disclaimer these are just the fragrances that i own that are in my personal collection there's no decants i could have included some decants but i just wanted to include full bottles that i'm going to be wearing often so with that said let's go and get into it number five we have a fragrance that i just actually talked about not too long ago bulgari's aqua atlantique so this one i talked about in my dylan blue versus this one face off and i really enjoy this fragrance it's a really nice kind of salty marine take on dylan blue sauvage Blue de Chanel, all of those ones, and it's done really well. It has this nice cooling body wash, fresh smell with this nice salty aquatic marine note, almost this kind of seaweed note. Just smells really good, one of my favorites, and beast mode performance, even better than Sauvage, even better than Dylan Blue on my skin, so awesome one right here and you might be asking why didn't i include amara why didn't i include aquamarine and that's because i really am not a huge fan of amara i love the opening but the dry down kind of gets a little bit too boring and a little bit too floral for me and as for why i didn't include marine i don't own it so that's my number five favorite aquatic fragrance bulgari aqua atlantic number four on the list is a fragrance from the house of l'artisan parfumer it is batucada or however else you want to say it I'm sure there's gonna be people saying I said it wrong in the comments. I don't care. So this one is kind of a lime, sugary, salty, fresh fragrance, aquatic fragrance. This one kind of is similar to Virgin Island Water, Tommy Bahama, St. Bart's. It's in that general kind of area of fragrances and I really do enjoy this one. It reminds me so much of just being on like vacation, being on the beach. It's got some mint in there as well and it just kind of is this sugary, sweet, but yet fresh and aquatic boozy fragrance if that makes any sort of sense it's it's really nice it's a really good one i found this bottle for a decent price so i went ahead and picked it up but it's just it's really nice stuff it's right on the line as far as unisex or not so this one would be one you'd want to sample first because this could come off a little bit feminine but for me it rides the line and i'm still comfortable with wearing it so that's what i'm going to do so that is my number four l'artisan parfumeres batucada all right guys, to my number three, we've got Creed Millicene Imperial. You know I had to include a Creed in here somewhere. So this one, did a review on it a while ago. It's this nice, salty, aquatic watermelon. It just has the scent of pure luxury, pure royalty. It just smells so good. It's musky, fruity, it's citrusy, it's aquatic. It's just really good. It's got that typical Creed ambergris dry down in there as well and it's really really nice stuff like i said it kind of smells very upscale like kind of a rich person would if you want to use that term but to me it just smells like again you know maybe being on the beach maybe being on a boat just cruising having a fun relaxed day this isn't something that i personally would wear formal to me it's just perfect for casual lounging around having a good time having fun you know maybe you're on vacation and you spray this on and go out to an informal dinner or something like that maybe by the water that's what this smells like to me and i really enjoy it crete is very good at making their fresh fragrances it's one of my favorite niche houses if you weren't able to pick up on that so i had to put this one in there but that is my number three creed millicene imperial my number two favorite aquatic fragrance shouldn't be a surprise to you invictus aqua now this is the 2016 version this is kind of harder to find, so some of you may get mad that I'm including this here. So I'm also including the 2018 version. However, if I had my Druthers, I would pick this one all day. This is really nice stuff right here. It works so well on my skin. Performance above, above average. Easily 12 hours plus each time. This is one, again, every time I wear it, someone compliments me. It just works really good. Again, this is one of those kind of casual, having fun, 
fragrances you just spray it on you'll be good all day with this one and this one same situation the performance isn't as good but with that aside it still gives me the same vibes i really love this invictus aqua dna it just does so good for me especially in the warm weather i can't get enough of it i've got like four bottles now including this one i definitely don't want to run out of this stuff it just works so well for me again this is one that brings me back to summer brings me back to vacation because I'd wear it a lot just because I would spray it on I'd be set from the morning when I wake up all the way until the Sun goes down just without fail it's my workhorse for the summer great stuff like I said compliments are also great and this one does get hated on the whole Invictus line gets hated on probably because yeah the bottles are kind of tacky Paco Rabanne has a history of making really loud, sweet fragrances, but this one to me tones down that typical Paco Rabanne-ness that you get from Invictus. You get from one million, million, one million, and it just really is nice. So that is again my number two. Love this stuff. I can never be without a bottle. Invictus Aqua. All right, guys, to my number one. Some of you may know what this is if you've been following my channel. Aqua de Jo Profumo. So. Here, this is my larger bottle, my 4.2 ounce. I have another smaller bottle inside for a backup and for travel. And then also I brought out special blend because these two are going side by side for the spot. So I'm not gonna get into this whole comparison right here. This is a conversation for another video, hint, hint coming up. So I'm not gonna get into it, but they are very similar. Do you need to own both? No, but I'm including both just because if you find a really good deal on this one and you don't have this one yet, you can go with this one. It's not gonna be that much different. However, I am including both because I do enjoy both and I have both, so I'm including them both. So again, Aqua de Jo Profumo, one of my absolute favorites, especially for the summer, especially for the spring. Like I've said before several times, I said in my re review, it just smells like a summer night on the beach. It has this nice, gorgeous Aqua de Gio aquatic DNA. But again, this one mixes in some darker notes like incense, like patchouli, as you've probably heard a million times. But really, it just is perfect. I love this stuff. Why didn't I include Ascenza? Because I like this one more. This one just has more of a kind of mysterious edge to it. It's more suited for evenings, which is when I love to wear it and when it gets me a lot of compliments and it's just it's my favorite i do have a senza and i love it it's more of a woodsy kind of green floral version of this one and of the original and i do enjoy it more for daytime performance is also really good as with this one but this one is my favorite why didn't i include the original just because this one performs better and again it's a more modern take on the original with the addition of the darker notes. Like I said, it just adds some backbone to this fragrance. I just, I love it guys. I love this stuff. You guys know it's been my favorite for pretty much ever since I smelled it. Nothing has really been able to come close to it. And it's just, it's great stuff. I can't wait to wear it a lot this summer. Actually, I wore it the other day and a group of girls were walking behind me and they were like, oh, someone smells really good. And that was, you know, after eight hours or so, two sprays. And they were probably a couple couple yards back so i mean it, it it does really good so one of my absolute favorites as you guys know and that's why it's my number one aqua de jo profumo all right guys that's my list those are my top five favorite aquatic fragrances i hope you guys enjoyed this one i just want to make this video to share what i'm going to be wearing as far as my aquatics go this summer i'm going to pick up a few more kind of aquatic fragrances for this top 10 list i'm going to do this summer not my summer list but a different one so be looking forward to that but these right now are my current favorite aquatic fragrances all of them have great performance all of them just work really well for me and i just i love them I love my aquatics i love my fresh fragrances they just work really well off my skin so those are my favorites i'm really curious to know what your favorites are let me know down in the comments and that's about it guys i will see you guys in the next one as always you know what to do like a